Okay. Okay. Next one. The paw in the docks. Okay. Actually, I remember the place. No. Yeah. The docks. Okay. There we go. Would you mates come with me? Because you know there are killer statues on the loose, so I might need some help. <laughs> no. Well. Okay then. Go on. Mind your own business. Can you buy stuff, by the way, during this run? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's go shopping. Oh yeah, this was the... Uh, oh. Okay, I don't say anything. Well, let's see when we get to docks. Because <laughs> I guess the next open... That would be open place is there. Yeah, go on, Wait, <laughs> the guard is trying to get that statue. Oh, yeah. and another yeah. statue. Oh, stop hitting me. It's annoying. <laughs> the docks. <sighs> the slums. The failsafe. The last of all glyphs. Have things become so bad then so soon? Tempting is the power of the glyphs and weak are little humans like you. Yeah, if I remember correctly, the eye is the last thing that we... Yeah, I think so. You figured it out too. So we have to hear, hear it talk. Actually, now that you have told me what the eye is, I have more more idea what it, what it is talk. Flash bomb! Oh wait, I have no flash bomb. <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second, I have to go shopping for flash bomb. Hi there, um, shopper. Hi there. There's a killer statue on the door. Don't mind it. <laughs> yeah. It's it's not a custom. Hi it? there. Wait. Okay. Cannot see, cannot see, that was, cannot see. That was a polite statue. Ah, what is this thing? Ah, what is this thing? Die. It looks oh, like a stone man. Oh, there. oh, there's a hag. Can you slip her off the to the docks? I don't think so. I think you could. Yes. <laughs> what? So no. far, so good. Oh! Man, there's only two artifacts left. Uh oh! Ah! Yeah, oh! Ah! Where's your oven? Cannot see, cannot see. That was kind of. Kind of, kind of. Terrifying. Confusing. Yes. Chaotic. Okay. Next one. Uh, the crown. Oh, yeah. Oh. At the base of the clock. I know this place too. Or should I say I remember this place? Okay, should we just run? It's not time for the eye yet. The other sentients are so sad and simple. Most of them cannot even speak yet. But we are all fascinated by our potential and love. I thought that the tank was trying to reunite us all. But only I know I'm so It is the thief that wishes to unlock our powers. Either way, our destiny approaches. Okay, the clock tower. It would be sort of ironic if the cleft tower had crushed this one place while falling down. <laughs> Die, you hideous thing! You. Hey, don't share flesh and blood, thief. It is through your eye that I see. Painful, was it not? To lose it. That's why you are the one. Only you are attuned to me. And only I can initiate the failsafe. What? Who? Oh, I've got to get out of here. Okay. Oh. Oh, 
little poor person, whatever it was. She was trying to protect us. Or not. I wonder if. Oh, the hat got spawn! Hang on! Let me through, let me through! A thief coming through! <laughs> Criminal Four of the five are all set. I can't stop now. Why you oh, this is. It's all out of war. Run unarmed. You're gonna be sorry. I saw what you did. Thou hast no jostled my arm. What? That's right. Was it the last one? Oh, yeah. The eye. Hi, City Watch guy. You're not very intimidating right now. Okay. Oh, hey, we're finally finishing this game. Oh, that's awesome, but sad at the same time. This is a very good game. Oh! Oh! Yep. oh! Hello. Um, dog. Ugh. Dog. Ugh. Last artifact, the eye. Let's hope this final glyph does something useful. see another glyph again it'll be too soon
Final thoughts? What did you like the most? Um, well, I don't know. The cradle was creepy, but awesome. And I liked the museum too. Yeah, I actually liked the cradle because it, it has it had the best atmosphere of these yeah, all. Yeah, and this game is <coughs> largely about that. Yeah, and the first levels were kind of rust out, I guess. I think there was... I think it was nice that this was different from the first two, and I think one of the differences were nice, but there were these glitches, and it doesn't very look what? complete. What? Jumping glitches? No. <laughs> <laughs> nah. I mean those um, other glitches. Like with jumping? Yeah, with jumping and being near walls. But the story was good, the characters were good. My only complaint about the story was that they killed a Artemis. He was Mr. Exposition and our mentor and our father figure. Well, now Garrett can be mentor his himself. No, he can't. Oh yes, he can. He's a terrible teacher. Yes, that's that's the best part of it. I don't. Okay, so yeah, the final cliff uh, neutralized all the other cliffs, so that's why the keepers were revealed, and they kind of had to get start anew. And the thing on Garrett's hand was kind of the last. Now the only glyph that exists. And I wonder what it is. Is it like? It was a key, so is it like he can open any door? I don't know, but maybe it's just a glyph. But it is a glyph. Yeah, by the way, back in times I tried to kill the hag, actually. I threw everything I had on him, like oil flask, fire arrows, moss arrows, bombs, mines, everything I had. And it did nothing. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, you could have tried to throw her down the docks, you know, make an oil slip, slip her. I mean, yeah. the water is lethal in this game, we have seen it. Lethal to Garrett. And besides, else. Besides, it, it kind of felt like the hag was just teleporting all over the place, or he, he, she, she, she that just had some clones of him herself. Yeah. Um, so credits are still rolling. Uh, but these are slow credits, by the way. Yeah, but I kind of like those. I mean, I like this music. Music? Oh, right. I didn't hear it clearly. <laughs> clearly? Oh, well. Um, yeah. Well, I like this series a lot. Actually, I think this is one of my favorite game series ever. Yeah, I just... I've, I've, I've been trying to... not to play the Thief first Thief game so that we can do a let's play of it, so it will be pretty new to me. Yes. But, well, we'll see if uh, we can get the Thief 1 rolling next or whatever. Awesome, I can come with you for the exciting journey of our awesome anti-hero. Yeah. These credits are pretty long. Well, um... There's the director of private operations, is Kathy Shovak. Oh. <coughs> no easy thing. <laughs> okay. Um. And this this was actually the first Thief game to come out on a console as well, and that's partly why it has had to have these loading zones, which was kind of not cool. Because, because these games are, you know, you really feel like you really are there, and when there comes a loading zone, it kind of cuts you, you away from it for a yeah, moment. Yeah, in the first two games, there was not, like in the level, there was not different time zones. Yeah. It was all just one complete package. And now you have, in here, you can, like, you have guard on your back, and you go in from the from the smoke, and you're like, haha, I lost him, and when you come back from the door, he's right there waiting for you. Yeah. And if you flashed him before you went in, he flashed there too, still. 
Yeah, um, but I like the city. I mean, I like the idea of that you can freely go there between the missions. It could have been larger, and it could have been more, you know, variable, and you could have should have been able to break into more houses and stuff. But, yeah. But it was a nice addition. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, by the way, even though this was made by a different company than the first two games, a lot of same people that were involved with that were involved with this too, so it's not a completely different. You think they are, are go you think they are going to make the 4? Well, they have announced it. And I'm actually very afraid of it because it has a really stupid looking logo. And um, the modern game, con you know, the modern gaming culture is not very. Yeah, maybe they give a give Garrett a machine gun. <laughs> <laughs> Please no. <laughs> Please don't do that. <laughs> oh well, we can hope. They have been working on it for a long time, actually. Yeah. That, with that, nothing. That would be kind of awesome, you know, in a way. No, it wouldn't. It would be terrible. By the way, Stephen Russell is pretty much in every role in this game. See, he's there too. He was Garrett as well. He was a Hammerite. He was one some of the guards. Oh, he's not in this one. Artemis. Oh, Artemis, may you rest in peace. We will remember you as the convenient man who appears to drive the plot forward. Also, Terry Proceus does a lot of voice voice work too. She was also part of the team who created this game. Oh, the eye. <laughs> We're gonna be seeing him again. It. The. The heart? <laughs> the heart? The heart? I what? never heard it talk. What heart? The stone? The, yeah, the other gemstone? What? The heart? I didn't hear it talk. Me neither. That's confusing. Oh, oh it's over. It's over. Well, hope you enjoyed it, so... Tune in next time, whatever we are doing. Uh, well, I like this. Yes. I hope you like this too, and uh, we'll go and make some pizza now. Bye. Yeah. See ya. I've got a headline for tomorrow's crime report. Museum not thief-proof after all.